Hi, I'm Kevin Alceri of the University of Wisconsin at Madison of the MSJ Project. And this is the next part of our Bioimage Analysis Basics course where we're talking about tracking. Tracking is really one of the more fundamental aspects of why you do optical microscopy in particular. The ability to look at space and time and link objects across these images. The ability to track objects and follow them. And this can be measuring the speed, the directionality, as you can see here. Being able to look at the length, how they divide, maybe you're looking at cell lineages when they're dividing and seeing the family tree of cells. And you can do this in 2D and 3D across data sets. And there's a very powerful tool such as TrackMate and MSJ that make it really easy to do this. But it's really important to have good quality data to make sure that you can actually follow these moving objects temporally and make it very easy then to track them. One of the important steps as my colleague Ann Carpenter talks in our other uh, video, uh, series uh, segmentation is how to identify objects of interest. The first step is to segment, and Anne covers that in some depth. The idea is to first identify the objects you want to then track. And the next step is linking them. This can be really simple. It can just be matching the nearest XY, or it can be more complex, like looking globally across different frames and trying to optimize the pairings from one frame to the next, and trying to see what happens and try to follow that object as it goes between frames. It can also be much more advanced and complex where you actually take, it about, take into account the cell feature. For example, a big cell and a small cell crossing the path, trying to actually take account the morphology and the trajectory of each cell and trying to actually see where they go and track them as they interact. And increasingly, uh, we not only do segmenting and linking, but we're also using more advanced algorithms that actually might help inform each other and allow for uh, more complex tracking. Uh, one of the uh, uh, more important aspects of tracking is being able to measure the features for the spots, the links, and the tracks, and getting good statistics of how you actually can follow velocity, direction, displacement. And uh, you can measure all these spot features. For example, in this example, where we're measuring the estimated diameter of this, of this uh, cell as it divides and tracking it over time. To complete the section on tracking, again to repeat, it's very important to be able to track cell lineage over time, see what happens to cells, to see what happens to cells in 2D and 3D, and go object to object. And increasingly, uh, this is being used in diverse applications, but folks are also looking at more automated analysis, including machine learning, as it applies to tracking. And this is covered in another part of our video series. And I encourage you to ask for help, including on our imaging forum that we also discuss. And please uh, watch the other videos in our series to help inform how you might be able to use uh, tracking in your image analysis.